feel so like. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, you know, I started the party right. I knocked her drink all over her dress in the lobby. Like, Let's go! Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, I recognize a lot of you, which I appreciate the return attendance. Woo! I also see some people that I don't recognize. Meaning I feel like I'm doing you a disservice and I don't give an all-purpose disclaimer before we start. <laughs> if you don't walk away seeing something that makes you go, Ugh. <laughs> and ooh, and oh, <laughs> we have failed you. <laughs> now, if we do in fact fail to meet your expectations, keep it to yourself, there's no need for both of us to be disappointed. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are one of the last real deal sideshows you can find in this great nation, which used to be the highest grossing form of entertainment in America, because goddamn America is amazing. A lot of people aren't familiar with sideshow because it is a, a dying art. Now back in the heyday, you could go for a nickel and see a 10 in 1 sideshow where you see a sword swallower and a magician and a juggler and, and all sorts of different stuff. And if you get really lucky, you could see an act that had a geek. <laughs> That's right. Now, some of you guys know where we're going with this. Some of you are like, you know what, I go to Geek Squad all the time. <laughs> we're not talking about the pencil neck that couldn't get a date in high school, ladies and gentlemen. We're talking about the wild men of Borneo. They'd be labeled on the flyer as man or beast, you decide. And they do crazy stuff like swallow a rattlesnake whole and then pull it back out. Woo! And you'd be still alive, kind of. <laughs> kind of, sort of. They'd do stuff like eat broken glass or pound a train spike into their face. They'd drink gasoline. Ladies and gentlemen, these were party people. <laughs> I'd like to... The thing that I always liked about the geek is a lot of times you weren't getting exactly what you saw, but it wasn't like a magic trick, because you see a magic trick you know, they put the lady in the box, they saw it in a half, and it's cool. You don't know how they did it, but you know that it can't be real. In the back of your head, you're never like, really amazed. With a geek act, it really could be happening. Sometimes it is, and sometimes it ain't. It's like economic recovery. Could be happening, but it isn't. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to show you one of my favorite traditional geek stunts. Oh, they had strippers too, but you don't start the show that way. It's like, you know, hit the finale and then, oh, juggling? Hey, juggler guy, why don't you juggle my balls? If I had a nickel for every time I heard that, I'd have at least a quarter. Or said that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the needle through arm. Is it man or is it beast? You decide. <laughs> if you're squeamish, you should probably just leave the show now. <laughs> well, you probably want to see it, don't you? Now the problem with an act like this, I told you, you just need to calm down, sir. It's not what it looks like. <laughs> I'm gonna need your help. <laughs> He's like, you're gonna need a lot of my help. <laughs> says, do you want me to pull it out, sir? We just met. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Turn around and show them your mustache and that'll answer the question. <laughs> do you have uh, hepatitis? Hey, everyone gets a prize. <laughs> All right, just very slowly, please. Just okay, be careful, careful.
That was important with the geek act, as I said. Sometimes it's happened, sometimes it's not. But most times, you'll find that if you know how the trick works, you just be disappointed. I want you to assure folks there are no puncture wounds. He's shaking his head no problem. Now if we uh, do our job properly, this will not be the only blood spilled on the stage this evening. So you're going to have some more sideshow. We have some magic. We have some juggling. We have a whole lot of music this evening, ladies and gentlemen, because the backbone of this whole show is the magnificence. We're incredibly fortunate to have two musical guests this evening. Returning all the way from Nashville, Tennessee, with her original songs, please welcome to the stage Miss Mary Rogers. Thank mm -hmm. you. 